As soon as he walks over this next mine, he's toast. Oh, ouch. Got him. Oh, is that car going to blow up? Stay away from it. <laughs> Our first mushroom cloud. They're all together along with Vance. How about we do this? <laughs> oh shit. How the fuck did that hurt? Oh no, that's that's Holly and Vance. Gotcha. Okay. Um, just in case they come all the way down here, let's hit them with an incendiary. Wait, did that actually hurt me? Uh, stat. No. Yeah. How the hell did that hurt me? I was a mile away from that bomb. Fuck. That's gonna affect our aiming. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, let's go... Aid. Do I have another s a splint? Okay. While we're at it, let's do a rat away and uh, let's yeah, let's take a combat stem, an antiseptic, and a bandage. Yeah, that took care of all of our radiation. It looks like. After doing that, they really stopped pursuing us. We definitely put the hurt on them. <laughs> They're sitting around the table again. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, they're they're hurting. Shit. That went further than I thought it was going it. Run. Somebody just died. Sneak attack critical on Brianna. Nice. I'm hit. What was that? Hey. Where? Damn. No, don't jam. Fuck, quit jamming. Hey, oh, here, here, here. Uh, let's go to. First of all, aid, combat stim, military bandage, antiseptic. <laughs> taking everything. Solvitol, damage resistance. Okay. Uh, let's get this 10 millimeter submachine gun out. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's go back to our, our carbine. It kept jamming on me. Um, let's go to the assault rifle because it's in a little bit better shape. Okay. God, I can't hit a damn thing. Okay, I... I think that's all of them. So we're going to do a save here. And we took Vance out. Vance's sword cabinet key. We got all the passwords and everything else we needed off of him. Uh, yeah, we'll take all of that. 
We're going to have a lot of stuff to sell. Just double checking that I got them all. Okay. All right. I uh, well here. Let's be careful. That's just the radio. I think we've killed them all. Let's go over to Carl's place. We got his key, so we can now look at all the duct tape. Oh my god! All right. Um, what is the key open? I mean, if we didn't give a shit about our karma. Oh, the combat stim is what made us, like, perfectly healthy. Okay, that's good to know for future reference. He's got to have, like, a safe or something around here. Miscellaneous. Key ring. Carl's supply key. I don't know what Carl Supply Key is supposed to open up. And unfortunately, this still considers me stealing. Again, I don't think you should take a karma hit for stealing from your enemies. Well, all right. I don't know. I, I'm not seeing anything over here that's jumping out at me. He has got a lot of shit in here. My goodness. Okay, well, anyway, let's just remember this stuff is here, because, uh, does he have a locker or th something back this way? Well, we'll have a lot of stuff to sell when we get back to Megaton, and then we can pay the doctor 1,000 caps to heal all of our sickness. All of this stuff that's considered stealing. Shit. All right, let's go this way. That's a nice weapon, but it's, um, it uses 10 mil rounds, which we don't have a lot of. Let's, yeah, let's repair our carbine, because that weapon is so much better than these assault rifles here. Sword cabinet. Vampire's Edge. Bonus critical damage and chance. It does 12 damage. Did we get bad karma for that? Alright, uh, let's take a look at this. Our broad machete still does overall DPS. Oh, that's pretty cool looking though. Nice. All right, so I got to figure out what to do here. Uh, doesn't do anything. Sure, be nice to take all that stuff, but so didn't we pick up Vance's password? Yeah, Moresti's security password. The password unlocked the security door blocking Ian's holding cell is. Vespertilio. Oh, so we got to find his holding cell. Password unlocked the outer security door from the maintenance tunnels to the main platform is Nick Nick Tiris. Password the family's main terminal is that. Okay, so we got to find Ian's holding cell. Oh, we got a thingy for a shish kebab too. Wait, didn't we? Yeah, we have a shish kebab. Ooh, 47 damage. <laughs> Look at this. I think this is our new melee weapon, ladies and gentlemen. Shish kebab. 
Shish kebab it is. Does a lot more damage than Vampire's Edge. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Let's get back to our trusty marine carbine here. All right, we need to find Ian's holding cell. Um, so that's really the main reason why we came here. I guess it's not in here. Oh, this is it. Don't be giving me bad karma, goddammit. Unlock security area door. Activate internal security. Activate protract. No, let's not do that because they'll come after us too. Door released. I thought I heard guns. What's going on? Who are you? I'm here to save you, buddy. Evan King sent me. You're tough to find. No time to discuss it. We're getting the heck out of here. Uh, yeah, Evan King sent me to look for you. Yeah, I guess I should have known this would happen. I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. You think I don't know that? I don't know. You think you I know. don't know what I did? You did it? What? What did you do? I killed them. My own parents. Why? It was the fucking hunger. That thing that's haunted me my entire life. Okay. You must think I'm some sort of monster. Mmm, kind of thinking that. Uh, look, Ian, I know loss too. I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the answer. Maybe I can help you. Help? How can you help? There's something inside me. Something completely messed up. Okay. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to is my sister Lucy, and she's gone. Uh, about that? No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? They don't give a shit about you anymore either. Um, Vance is going to be any help anymore. Wait, what do you mean? He's dead? You killed him? I didn't say I killed him. But he was my only chance to understand what the hell is happening to me. I think he filled your mind f full of shit. Look, this place is the answer. You need to get home and go face your demons. Read this letter. Lucy wrote it. I'll bet that would change your mind. Yeah, read the letter. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. Yep, she loves you. I think I had it all wrong. I think you did, too. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Yeah, but uh, she's going to feel worse when you tell her you murdered your parents. Go back to Arfu and tell Evan King that I'm coming home. I have a few things to pack, and I want to say my goodbyes to this place alone. Okay. Return to Evan King. All right, so... I, uh... I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> no, I, um... I don't, nice to see you again. I don't really know the circumstances behind exactly why he killed his parents. I mean, apparently he had vampire urges or something to that effect. But I'm going to have to let him face the music on that with his sister. The important thing is, is that we completed the quest. And if we ever want to come back here and loot a fuck ton of shit and get bad karma in the process, we know where to come. Because <laughs> I think it'll stay here. I don't think it'll go anywhere. But we have finally accomplished that quest. Boy, that was an ordeal, huh? Uh, Alright, I'm going to limp my way back to Arafu. Do the turn-in. I still wish I could figure out what his key is supposed to open in here. Uh, you know, I would expect like a safe or a cabinet or something, but... It's just, it's not obvious to me. Okay, so I will um, meet you guys back at Airfu for this turn-in. All right, guys, let's stomp off at Capital Armaments here okay. and I, uh, sell some of our stuff before we head out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change into our roving trader outfit uh, for plus five barter. And 
and uh, let's talk to Step forward and identify yourself. C on Mark II. Made in the USA. All right. So let's see here. I'm going to sell. Uh, whoa. Don't do that. Items. Okay. Uh, we sold nails. This one's in really good shape, though. Eh, I might keep both of those. We'll keep the range master because that's our only long range rifle at the moment. We're going to sell both of these assault rifles. Um, I don't need all of these shotguns. I want to keep this combat shotgun and get it get it repaired. Um, and let's see. I kind of like the sturdy caravan shotgun, but both of these are 20 gauges. So I think we'll sell that. And then I'm going to keep the short barrel because it does more damage than the sawed off. Even though the sawed off's in a little bit better condition. Let's get rid of the laser pistol. Um, now that we have Shish Kebab and Vampire's Edge, we don't need the broad machete. So let's sell that. Let's sell the more valuable sledgehammer because we're only going to use that to fix up our garage when we get back. I'm going to sell the combat armor because I can't use it to repair the Navy combat armor and it's very heavy and we'll get some cash for it. Uh, we'll sell both of these Merc Adventurer, Merc Charmer, Vance's Long Coat. That gives us Perception, Charisma, and 10 guns. Uh, no, because it smells like vampire. Okay, we're getting rid of that. Roving Trader Outfit. We'll get rid of that and... Uh, the Bandana, we'll get rid of that. We want to keep all of... Pretty much all of this stuff, we'll get rid of the cup. Okay, let's accept. That gives us 442 caps. Now, um, I want to purchase from you uh, 20 gauge slugs. How much? How much? Oh, we only have yeah, we only have five 20 gauge rounds. So let's let's purchase his normal 20 gauge shells. Um, <clears throat> he doesn't have any 10 or. Five five sixes. Oh, nice. Th actually, that's not too bad of a price. I'm gonna buy all of those weapon repair kits. Very good. Oh, we have enough coin to get one of these combat helmets. So let's get that now, and then we can sell the motorcycle helmet. Oops. Yeah, we'll get rid of that because this is in perfect condition. Plus, it probably looks badass too. For bullet stuff, I want all of his 10 millimeter casings, his 5.56 casings. I want a, so yeah, I want some pistol powder, some rifle powder, large pistol primer box. I want those. A large rifle primer. That's probably what we need for 5.56s. I'm guessing. And let's buy, let's buy a wrench. Because I know we need wrenches to make repair kits. That we need several things. Wrenches are one of them. I think we need duct tape for repair kits too. But and scrap electronics. Don't remember what else we need for that. Okay. So, um, uh oh, that gives us that puts us over. Let's sell the rifle back to him. Oh, okay. So that that got us our caps back. All right, that's good enough. Okay, now let's go put on the combat helmet and the navy combat armor. And we have these repair kits now. The combat shotguns in the worst condition. The marine carbine's not in too bad a shape. Yeah, so let's let's repair this. Okay, that gets it up to about two thirds of the way, and it leaves us with one more repair kit. What's the next worst thing? I really, I really don't need both of these except for. I like that bonus critical chance on this weapon. 
But this has some nice mods on it, and it does more, a little more damage. We could repair this 10 millimeter, the one that has the mods on it. The short barrel's kind of in bad shape too. If we repair this, yeah, let's do that. Let's repair that, fixing things. All right, nice. And since we did that, Step forward and identify. I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. Oh shit, hold on. Well, here, let's actually try something. Uh, I'm gonna sell that this this uh, this one here. So right now we can sell this for 108 caps. Close. If we put on the roving trader outfit for plus five barter, um, and I don't think the regulator hat affects that. Maybe I don't know. Step forward and identify you. Now we can sell for 109 caps. Okay, let's do it. That gives us a little bank back. Um, you know, we need some money for for the dock to fix us up too. Back at the when we get back to Megaton, so maybe we should just call that good. I think we're done here. Howdy. Howdy. All right, let's head on back to. Um, Arafu and do our quest turn in and then we'll head home. Uh, there's some kind of glowing thing up there. And it's moving. Oh, I think that's a Protectron. Which means he's probably guarding something. <clears throat> you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until morning so we can see what the hell's going on. So let's just hunker down by this car. It's 11 p.m. Let's get a, wait till 7 a.m. We don't want to wander around in the dark in the wasteland. Okay. You no longer feel sick. Oh. What are our current stats? We have hydro withdrawal and minor dehydration. That's... That's not terrible. I don't know. I don't know how we get rid of hydro withdrawal. We're quite thirsty, however. Uh, all right. So let's go to here and I'm going to drink a quantum and all of those. This gives us a little bit of water, which makes no sense, because scotch would actually make you more thirsty. More charisma, less intellect, but more strength. <clears throat> I'm just going to do that now, because we need to get our hydration under control a little bit. It's still not that great, but it's better than it was. And our limbs aren't in the best of shape either. Okay, so we're, we're no longer suffering from the negative effects of dehydration. <laughs> All right, so this guy seems to be guarding a big truck or bus or something. Uh, I don't know if we want to take him on without a lot of cover. Let's get our range master rifle here and actually let's use a couple of demolition charges too. What I want to try and do is see if I can draw him over here, over the charges, while we retreat and sniper doodle him. Okay, so, uh, is he going to stay turned around?
damn it, he's going the wrong way. Reload. See if we can draw him over across that. There we go. He's almost dead. As soon as he walks over this next mine, he's toast. Oh, ouch. Got him. Oh, is that car going to blow up? Stay away from it. Oh, our first mushroom cloud. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> wow. Okay. Nice. It's got energy cells and drained energy cells. I'll pick that back up. Well, let's see what we get here. 32 rounds. Some meds and stuff. Super stim pack. Oh, nice. Lord knows we need that. All right. Uh, blood draw kit and a splint. Five, five, sixes. Oh, yeah. That's what we like. Nothing else in those. Oh, nice. An assault rifle. What kind of shape is it in? Not in the best of shape. More five, five, sixes. Three, oh, eights. Excellent. All right. Good deal. That was worth the price of admission. Let's continue on here. Come here, you bastard. Shish kebab mantis. Oh, there's Marduk over there. Uh, I don't think I want to waste ammo on Marduk's right now. Got his attention. I like this weapon. Did I loot this stuff on this boat? I don't remember if I did or not. Yeah, looks like I did. Oh! Oh, wow, look at all these missiles! Nice! Missiles for our missile launcher. I'll take it. All right, let's see what Evan King has to say for himself. There he is, the hero of the day. That's me. It's done, Evan. The family will never bother Arafu again. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. Oh, he got back already. Okay. He's fast. Of course, we did wait for several hours. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. It was my pleasure. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Okay, appreciate that. Uh, any help you can provide would be appreciated. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. Okay. You're welcome to some of it if you like. All right, I'll take some. <laughs> vodka <laughs> in case things got really bad i'm hey man i'm on the same page with you brother uh oh i can ask for more sorry the wells run dry okay no problem maybe I, maybe when we come back later he'll have more stuff for us come on back soon oh there you go i may okay. have some stuff for you fantastic all right achievement unlocked blood ties we killed dracula beautiful um Let's let's just take have a quick chat with the rest of the residents. Huh? Don't mind Brayley. She's in La La Land again. Yeah, Brayley's in La La Land. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Any help can you provide? Well, all I can do is offer my repair services to you. I'm pretty good with fixing stuff. That sounds good. Let's That's let's see. That's usually because Brayley breaks everything, thinking she's <laughs> making a cake or something. Right. Okay. 
Uh, so, wait. All you have is repair skill 12? Dude, I've got way more repair skill than you. Never mind. Goodbye. Yep. Repair 12. What the hell? All right. Let's go talk to this other lady. I'm glad I was wrong about you. Welcome you, back. Wait, you were wrong about me? I don't remember you being wrong about me. Um, can you help me with anything? There are a few interesting places around here I've heard about. I don't know if they'll help you or not, but you're welcome to them. Okay, fair enough. All right, we got some new map locations. Goodbye, Karen. Don't be a stranger. It's nice to have company. 10-4. Okay. I wonder if they uh, ever cleared out uh, the uh, West's bodies. Let's go see. All right, you. Hey, be more careful. Now listen, dude. If I was more careful, you would be a vampire by now. Thanks for setting me straight on everything. Okay. I'm glad we understand each other now. <laughs> um... <clears throat> What do you mind if I asked about you know, it's painful to talk about what happened in Arthur? How are things going now? Um All right. Basically, why did you kill your parents? I mean, I think I know, Actually, but I want to hear it from you. Actually, kind of makes me feel better to talk about it. Go ahead. Why did you kill your parents? I wish I could answer that. I really do. I don't even remember it happening. Mm. When the hunger takes over, it's like being pushed aside. Like something else is controlling me. I can see what's happening, but can't close my eyes. I don't even remember exactly what happened until Vance knocked on the door. How did Vance know you were one of them? That's the weird thing. He has some sort of crazy sixth sense about or something. Maybe all of our kind do. Correction, he had. <laughs> as soon as I was with the family, I really felt at home for the first time in my life. It's like all these people are my real brothers and sisters. Um, how did you end up leaving Arfu? I don't remember how long I sat there on the floor staring at my parents' bodies. It seemed like days I wanted to feed, to eat their flesh. But it was like a little bit of me was holding on. Then, out of nowhere, there was shouting outside and a knock at the door. I opened it, and it was Vance. He seemed to know exactly how I was feeling inside. He took me under his arm and we left. I never looked back. Um, I saw the family's mark on the wall. What's up with that? Vance told me later that he was basically covering for me and allowing the family to to feed at the same time. Okay, so he let his vampires feed on the other innocent people in this village. I see. Since my parents were already dead, they drank their blood and left the mark on the wall. He didn't want Evan to suspect that I had done it. Okay. The irony is they were stalking our town to feed anyway. It's almost like Vance knew this would happen. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Um, so tell me more about this unusual hunger. I suppose not. When did you first discover you had it? I was about 10 years old and I was playing with Lucy down under the overpass. We loved throwing rocks in the water. We saw some wastelander trying to break open the Brahmin pens and steal one of them, so I ran over and told him to stop. He just laughed and pushed me away. When I fell, suddenly my head started to hurt, and my eyes got all blurry. It was almost like I blacked out. Sounds like you got a concussion, dude. Next thing I know, Lucy was pulling me off the guy. I had ripped his throat open with my teeth. Okay. Uh, what did... What did Lucy say she saw you do? She said I, like, changed into another person, that I even glared at her and raised my arms like I was going to kill her. The Wastelander took a swing at me with some kind of club. I turned around and jumped on him. I tore his throat open with my teeth. If he wouldn't have done that, Lucy may have been killed, too. I just don't know. Did you ever talk to your parents about it? Lucy said Mom and Dad would never have understood. She told me to keep what I did a secret. And that she'd try and help me. Thanks to Lucy, she was able to stop that from ever happening again for years. 
Every time I'd feel the hunger, she'd hold on to me and not let go. After a while, the hunger almost seemed to go away until, well... Okay. Do you really believe in vampires? I don't know. I really don't. I mean, I'm not totally dumb. I know they were in stories and all that. But who knows? Maybe Vance is right and vampires were just people like us who learned to control their hunger and drink only blood. Doesn't matter. You're still killing your victim, whether you're eating their flesh or drinking their blood. I mean, vampires are regarded as feared monsters instead of hunted animals, like cannibals. Kind of makes sense. Not, not, not if you're continuing to kill innocent people. Doesn't matter. All right, here's what I think. I think you, when you fell and hit your head, maybe you got a little bit of brain damage and something went wrong in your brain, and that's why, that's why you go into these rages. That, that's my explanation. Of course, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. It's weird living in my parents' old house with them gone, but I'll make the best of it. Well, hopefully they haunt the shit out of you for killing them. Everyone around here is being nice to me despite what happened, so I guess it all turned out well. Yeah, sure. It turned out Thanks. well for your parents, uh-huh. And everybody else you victimized. Sounds good. Okay, whatever. We're going to we're gonna leave him to, to his fate. Uh, all right. Let's head on back to Megaton. I think we're finished here. Welcome back to Arafu, kid. I never left. Back in Arafu, huh? Good to see you again. Hey, you got any other stuff? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Come we'll see you later, Evan. Hey, Lucky. Look, looking for that special something? I sure am. What do you got? Please, please. Enjoy my selection of high-quality problem solvers. He's got 10 millimeter rounds. We're going to buy those. He's got 556 five, rounds. We're going to buy those. He's got armor piercing 556 five, rounds. We're going to buy those. Uh, how many 20 gauge do I have? 22. Yeah, let's buy those two. Marine assault rifle. We have a marine carbine. Oh, that does that uses 308s. Its DPS is 151. That's better than our carbine. Hmm. Do we have 308s? Uh, I only have six. Does he have 308? He's only got three. Yeah, the thing about 308s is they're not. They don't seem to be as common as 556, five, so I don't think we'll do that. A gas bomb. Oh man, you know what? If we do this, we're gonna not gonna have any money left over for getting fixed up by the doctor. Ah, what the fuck? Let's do it. We'll come across more money later. All right. Another satisfied customer. See ya. Until we meet again. Stay safe out there, Lucky. Oh, by the way, we should speaking of staying safe, put this stuff back on. You know, we never looked at uh, how we look. Ooh, I like that helmet with the with the laser light on it. Sexy.